All right, uh, good morning and welcome. Corporate Governance Platform brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan. I am Fumi Omoburiwo. Ixan is a leading recognized professional body in Nigeria dedicated to enhancing the status and practice of corporate governance and public administration. Let me also reiterate that Ixan is the only professional body authorized in Nigeria to conduct the examinations leading to the qualification of chartered secretaries and administrators. On the program this morning, we're going to be looking at the relationship between internal audit function and effective risk management. Relationship between internal audit function and effective risk management. Our guest speaker on the program this morning is Mr. Ulufemi Shokan, FCIS, Member Implementation and Monitoring Committee, Ixan, is also managing partner Shokan, Ilushogbon, and co a firm of legal practitioners and solicitors. Good morning, Mr. Shokan. Good morning for me and good morning all our listeners. Also here is Mr. Kaede Ketefe, FCIS Head of Research, Ixan. Good morning, Mr. Ketefe. Good morning for me. Good morning to you, all our listeners. All right, we're going to take this message and we'll be right back. Hey, Obina, good to see you. Uh, you look so worried. Is everything all right? I'm having serious issues in my company. Balancing the interest of my company's many stakeholders like shareholders, management, customers, financiers, government, and communities giving us a problem. Mm, that has to do with corporate governance. Exactly. Then, you need to get in touch with ICSAN. Ixan? Yeah. Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, ICSAN. They provide you with seasoned and top ranking professionals trained to uphold the standards of corporate governance and efficient operations. You can also get in touch with Ixan if you want to become a chartered secretary and administrator. Contact Ixan by visiting the website www.ixan.org or call 0096-601-69. Ixan, the hub of governance professionals. All right, corporate governance platform right here on Eco 89.7 FM. Like I said earlier, we're looking at relationship between internal audit function and effective risk management. Mr. Shokon, let's look at it. What the term internal audit means. Thank you very much. Um, the term internal audit is, um, is an independent appraisal activity within an organization which is uh, put in place by the board mm. and the main essence of it is to ensure that uh, there are controls put in place uh, prevent frauds or errors that may uh, likely uh, culminate or turn to a risk that way that may affect the uh, objective and the organizational goals of the uh, of the company what's the role of the internal audit uh, within the context of corporate governance um looking at the part b uh under the code uh, which provides for the internal audit uh particularly uh principle 18 which states that effective internal audit uh, be provided to ascertain uh, an assurance for the board in achieving uh, good governance, uh, risk management, and also control. So in light of that, uh, the role of the internal audit uh, is to help the organization accomplish its ob objectives uh, by bringing a systematic and disciplined approach in the evaluation and improving the effectiveness of the risk management, control and governance uh, process. Um, another key role is that it provides assurance uh, for the company to be in uh, continuous existence. We all know that um, uh, for the stakeholders, for uh, the, the benefit of the company, the company has to run very well. So all these are 
uh, what uh, keeps the company in its good perspectives. You know, the court provides uh, that effective internal audit function provides assurance to the board on the effectiveness of the governance, risk management, and internal control systems. Uh, can you expatiate on the import of that statement? Uh, thank you very much. Like I said before, one of uh, some of the key roles of the internal audit is to ensure and to see that fraud, error, or any form of risk is uh, prevented or probably uh, stopped from crystallizing into what can uh, jeopardize or affect uh, the operation or the goals and objective of the um, organization. So, uh, you know, in looking at that, controls are put in place and the internal audit, uh, the, the committee is saddled with the responsibility to ensure that before anything crystallizes affecting the smooth running of the organization, uh, this unit or committee uh, takes um, uh, uh, an, an active step to ensure that uh, such risk does not occur. Another provision of the code is that internal audit function should be headed by a member of senior management who is the professional with relevant qualifications, competence, objectivity and experience. Uh, let's look at why the code insists on these capabilities and capacities. Um, it's very important to state at this point that for an office uh, of the internal auditor to be um, occupied, um, a high level of expertise is, um, is needed. Not only that, uh, the person to occupy such a position must have um, a good understanding of the company or the organization, as well as a good qualification uh, to, uh, to understand the processes at which the organization uh, runs. This will um, help in that office. And um, one key thing is that uh, there must be a good uh, standing and, and as well the person must be um, uh, unbiased in his decision because um, that position is very key to the company and it, it controls, it takes care of other departments ensuring that no uh, risk crystallizes in the organization. Uh, let's look at another recommendation of the code. Kit states that the head of internal audit function should report directly to the committee responsible for audit while having a line of communication with the MDCU. Why is this special reporting line created for the head of internal audit? This is very important because um, uh, such a position created must be protected as well. When I say protected, um, it must be um, mm -hmm. independent and um, also uh, uh, the person must be very objective. Not only that, uh, in, the light, in the line of reporting, uh, in order to avoid bureaucracy, uh, the internal auditor reports directly to the committee. And of course, uh, there's a dotted line reporting to the MD for administrative purposes. Let's uh, also look at it this way. Would you say uh, the recommendations of internal audit functions in the code conform uh, to the global best practice on the subject? Definitely, it, it does. It does. When you look at the provision of the code, you see that uh, uh, it's very similar to what operates um, uh, in, the, in, in, in various climates and system of the world. So I, I think it, it, it's it quite um, a fitting into what operates in other you know, climate areas of the world. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Shoko. Uh, Mr. Getafe, let me come to you. For the and usual announcement. Thank yes. you very much. <laughs> Let me start with the announcement on the Ixan Company Secretaries and Registers Forum. This is to inform our members.
company secretaries, registrars, practitioners in corporate secretarial practice, and other stakeholders, that the Exxon 2021 Company Secretaries and Registrar Forum will hold on Thursday, 4th of March 2021 at 11 a.m. prompt. The theme of this event is managing unclaimed dividends and unutilized funds in Doma Bank account in Nigeria, issues, options, and way out. The theme, once again, is mm -hmm. Managing unclaimed dividends and unutilized funds in dormant bank accounts in Nigeria. Issues, options, and way out. In deference to the new normal posted by the COVID-19 pandemic, the mode of participation will be by factual method. The link will be sent to participants upon confirmation of participation fee. The schedule of participation fee is as follows. For members, is 20,000 Naira. Non members, 25,000 Naira. Students, 10,000 Naira. Please note that participation at this forum attracts five credit points. This year, the forum aims at exposing participants to issues on unclaimed dividends and its challenges. It will be an interactive program facilitated by seasoned technocrats, experienced and skilled professionals. It promises to be a value-added program. We look forward to receiving you and your nominations. For more information on this, please call Florence on 080-323-69300. Please call Florence for more information on 080-323-69300. So let me quickly also remind our stakeholders about the June 2021 Exam examination. This to remind our students and other interested stakeholders that the registration for June 2021 exam professional examination is still ongoing. Come and register now and start preparing for your examination. We also want to inform our students that the lectures for the said diet are started since January 38th and you can still join. For more information on issues related to examination and registration as a student, Please call this number 080 9066016. Thank you and have a pleasant day. All right, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ketefe. But can you just express a little bit on those that can actually register and be part of the uh, June diet uh, exam? Thank you very much for that. As a matter of fact, both who hold school certificate can register. That means they will begin the program right from the beginning, from the foundation. Okay. But for those who have degrees, they will give from professional level. They will be granted a number of exemptions. And the kind of exemption that they will be granted also depends on the kind of course they study. We have two segments of uh, uh, study. Okay. The, the, the way we segre segregate it, those who study what we call uh, related courses and those who, who study non-related courses, those who study courses like law, accounting, business admin, so they fall under the category of those we call related courses. Okay. And they will enjoy enhanced number of exemptions. For those who study non-related courses, they will be granted the normal exemption that will grant all graduates. Okay. So, thank you very much. All right, what are the benefits if I want, I'm a graduate or I'm working already, and what, what are the benefits mm -hmm. of, you know, being part of the institute or, or writing this exam? The, the, the benefit is, let me say, the benefits are enormous by virtue of the fact that the, when you talk of corporate governance today, it is where the world is going. So everything, look at all the standards that rock the world right from 1992 to date. It has to do with uh, inability to grasp the basic concepts in governance. So when you now train yourself to acknowledge, I mean, sorry, to acquire adequate knowledge on this imp important subject, that means you will stand out as a professional that will, will be sought after when issue of corporate management, administration, and governance are concerned. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Ketefe. FCI, Head of Research, uh, 
Ixan, and also to our guests this morning, Mr. Olufemi Shokon, FCIS, Member Implementation and Monitoring Committee, and Managing Partner Shokon, Ilushogbo, and Co, a firm of legal practitioners and solicitors. We want to have you, Thank you on the much. program this morning. And that's it on Corporate Governance Platform, brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria. The program returns next week, Wednesday. 10 15 a.m. I am for me or more enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs>